at least 58 people were killed and 515 injured after a deadly shooting at a country music festival in Las Vegas. U.S. President Donald Trump on Monday condemned the largest mass shooting in U.S. history as an act of pure evil and said the nation was joined together in sadness, shock and grief. As for the main suspect, the gunman is identified as 64-year-old Stephen Paddock from Mesquite, Nevada. Paddock seems to have opened fire from the 32nd floor of Las Vegas Mandalay Bay Hotel onto a 22,000-strong crowd during a performance by the singer Jason Aldean, the closing act of the Route 91 Harvest Festival. Curtains blow out of broken windows on a high floor in the Mandalay Bay Hotel facing the scene of the mass shooting at the Route 91 Harvest Festival on Las Vegas Boulevard in Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, 02 October 2017. Epifa Paul Buck According to the police, the shooting took place at a country music festival in Las Vegas and shots were fired at around 1008 p.m. local time. The shooter, who killed himself before the police reached him, acted alone according to the authorities. The police have located Paddock's housemate Mary Lou Danley, who was previously named a person of interest, but they now say she is not thought to be connected to the case. Aaron Rouse, the FBI special agent in charge in Las Vegas, said investigators saw no immediate evidence connecting the attack to an international terrorist organization. Trump The shooting is an act of pure evil President Trump called for national unity after the shooting, which he described as an act of pure evil. He said he would visit Las Vegas on Wednesday to meet with law enforcement, emergency medical workers, and families of victims. We call upon the bonds that unite us our faith, our family, and our shared values, he said. We call upon the bonds of citizenship, the ties of community, and the comfort of our common humanity. Our unity cannot be shattered by evil, our bonds cannot be broken by violence, and though we feel such great anger at the senseless murder of our fellow citizens, it is our love that defines us today, concluded the U.S. President.